everybody welcome back as you can probably tell from the title today is not really move-in day but we are moving the horses um their stables we're not moving them completely but bootsy stable has got way too small for her um so harley has a bigger stable we're going to be moving bootsy into harley stable and then harley for those of you that have watched previous videos Harley is going to be going into Kings, so she still has that little walk around, so it's not too small for her. Trust her a bit more than Bootsy in there, so. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that feeds her. You can see, Kings has got very overgrown where he hasn't been in here and look the stable is falling apart before i move her in i am going to try and clear some of these brambles but i haven't got the tools for that at the moment um and then in the near future we'll fix these up as well but for now i'm just going to get the base sorted because as you can see i mean i've just left it since king left us and that was back in like January, February, so this needs doing. Um, but I am going to leave some of it left as a base for stable because it doesn't have, I don't think it has ever much. I can't remember. It's been that long. I can't remember. And so I'm going to find somewhere to put you guys because, again, I don't have my gimbal today because I didn't think about filming. Or my mic. I am so dumb. Let's find something to put you on. Right, let's pop you here. I am going to do the stable, but I'm going to completely speed it up. Um, done is dragged all the dusty bedding out and then I'm going to level off the solid bit so as you can see there's all the dusty stuff just gonna take all that away level that out and then move some fresh bedding in here oh both gonna be going on straw um, but we haven't got that yet so yeah I'm gonna quickly get that done and I will be back so I picked up a few piles of uh, bad dusty bedding um, it's a little bit of a mess at the moment but we'll tidy this up once all of this is eaten down and um, so now all we've got is we've got to top it up with some fresh bedding and, and let's collect some bedding out of booty stables um, but I'm going to take all of that and use that as like a second base because it's quite nice bedding at the back and then we will go from there so yeah I I'm going to quickly do this. I'm not going to pop you up, but I will do before and after. Um, because, again, no gimbal and no mic. But yeah, so this is what it looks like now. And then I'm going to take out that whole back bank to use. So as you can see, the nice bits of the bank have gone. So there's a little few bits of scrappy stuff in there. That will be fine to put underneath the nice straw and bedding. Haven't got the straw yet, but obviously when it comes. Um, I've just put her water bucket in here. This obviously needs mucking out as normal. I'm going to take a little bit of bedding out, I think, to put in here. I've already dumped one load, and then I'm just going to dump the other load. I'm going to probably get Bootsy's stable completely dug out once I've done this, which I will put, um, I will speed up for you to be able to watch that because I think it'll be quite satisfying. I know that this video is a bit like here and there. Um, but I've just picked up all the poo out of Harley's stable. It's in there. Um, I'm going to go and level that out and then I'm going to take the bedding from the front and put that in there, drag the nice stuff from the back forward. That is the plan of action. The wasps are still rife, which is 
making me a bit nervous, but if I get stung, I get stung. See, I leveled out the first lot of Bootsies and then there's one pile of Harleys. There'll be probably another one or two piles. The, the slightly dirtier bedding is all gonna go in here to form a nice soft base for Harleys. So the Bootsy stable is pretty much done. So I'll quickly show you that. Here it is. So it's completely leveled off the whole thing. She does need to have some bars, <laughs> hopefully put up on her window. And I do not trust her not to jump it. And then she doesn't weave, but she has got anti-weave bars on her door, which need to come onto this one. And the only reason for that is because she did jump out of her stable a few times. Um, and I don't fully trust her not to do that again, especially moving into a new stable. One more wheelbarrow to unload over there. Um, and then I'm going to level that out and that will be Harley stable ready. All that needs doing for this now is the straw when it arrives and the boards need to be redone because we've got quite a few gaps which isn't very helpful. Yeah, I think next is digging out bootsies, which I'm not looking forward to but needs to be done. I'm going to do a little before and after. I have obviously scraped off the top of this bed. This is the underneath gross bit because um, mine is deep littered. So this is all going to be dug out. That's where her water bucket goes. I'm going to prop you up and I'm going to do a time lapse of it. So let me pop you there. Hopefully, that's a good place to be. There we go. This stable took a very long time and by the time I finished it, the yard owner, my mum, the farrier, they were all there. So I didn't film any more after this um, until this afternoon, like till the evening really, um, where we're pulling out the stinger. So I just thought I'd do a voiceover. So this took over an hour and I've managed to squash that down into less than two minutes, which is quite impressive. Um, but as you can see, I would like you to watch along and count how many wheelbarrows and comment down below how many wheelbarrows you think I filled up because I can tell you it was quite a few. We had to take a quick break because the farrier came and then I had to work. Um, but as you can see, we're now ripping out the stinger nettles, which are in a nice pile. Um, Harley's stable is nearly ready. Bootsy's stable is now bootsy proof, so she can't jump out the window, like I mentioned earlier. I didn't add any more bedding because I think this will be fine. She normally messes it up anyway. And here is the empty stable. And the girls want to come in because it's past their bedtime but yeah i'll be back when you finished whining about being stung and when we're done stung by you don't do that um, you can't film in portrait babe i just got stung in the face you can see it now <laughs> i picked it out of the ground and it flew and smacked me in the face and it absolutely kills I felt like I put lip plumping lip gloss on my lips. So you'll be alright, it's okay. Just a little bit of a red bit and that's it. So if you remember what it looked like before, this was full of stinging nettles, which are now in a pile there. Thank you. No, Cut a few of them back as well, so they weren't coming into the, whatever this is called, area. Yeah. But I'll show you a little before and after. What I'll do is I'll insert a clip now of it before. And what it looks like now. 
we are going to quickly make their hay nets and things because I didn't get time to do that this morning and then we'll get the girls in and that will be the end of the video so we're now just grabbing them in and it is a really beautiful evening she's lovely she's looking a little bit ribby but much better than she was and here comes Harley who wants her dinner as well hey babes so yeah we're gonna pop them in their stables and you'll see them in their new bedrooms I'm really sorry, Harley, you've been demoted to the, the standard suite. But you get more room and you get a little bit of grass as well. So there are some perks. So that includes everything, I think, don't you think? Yeah, it does. I think it does. They're both where they should be now. So, Harley, any words? Your daughter has something to say about her feed bowl. Look how good she looks, even though she's not in work, bless her. She's like yummy food. What yummy grass. I'm not, I'm not sure about this, but where's let's, my water? Let's see her investigate. She's like, hmm, what am I doing in here? Let me just lick my bowl out even more. Trying to kick her bucket. Yeah, I saw that. I saw you trying to kick your bucket. Oh, she's very pretty. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, the only reason she has these is not because she actually weaves, even though I know they're anti-weave bars, but she did try and escape out of her stable door quite a few times um, <laughs> when we first put her in her other one. Um, and she's had it up ever since just as a precaution. It will come off eventually. I still don't fully trust her, especially in a new stable. I'm going to shine on her. Um, so here she is. Nor her beauty. And she's also got bars on her window because I didn't fancy her jumping out. <laughs> yeah. Harley's having a munch and I think we're done and ready to go home eventually. It's like half seven at night now, isn't it? Yeah, so that's it. Done. That is everything. And I will see you in the next video, which will be about, well, we'll be going show jumping, which is really exciting. I might have to record. Yeah, so if the recording's really bad, it's because of Brody over here. I'm actually a really good recording. Are you? Well, yeah. well, we'll see in the next video. Bye, everybody.